All right, so final four questions of our study guide for unit two before our quiz tomorrow. Um, these are a little blurry, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to show you as many different words and formatting of a question so you know what they're asking. So students were asked to explain the first step in solving the equation 3y plus 4 equals 16. Four students volunteered their answer. Susan says multiply by 3. Ted says add 4 to both sides. Greg says subtract 4 from both sides. And Tanya says add 16 to both sides. Now, so what I would tell you to do is probably, unless you already know, and then of course pick your answer. But for those of us who struggle a little bit with all these words, take that equation and let's solve it. So I know that I need 3y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Boom, there it is. But we're going to go ahead and finish because practice makes perfect. More practice is better. 3y divide by 3 because 3 times y and the inverse of division is, I'm sorry, the inverse of multiplication is division. So y equals 4. So our first step was to subtract. So who is correct? Greg is correct. And then if you were to ask to continue to solve, then you would just continue to solve. All right, so number 22, look at the equation. So n over 5 plus 24.5, don't panic even though it's a decimal, equals 100. Which inverse operations will solve the equations? So remember, this is where we have our great divide. Our n is with our fraction, and that's our boxes and our lines that I keep begging you to write. So hopefully you'll see the very first thing you should do is move that 24.5. So we're going to subtract first, and then once we subtract, we'll end up with n over 5 equals 75.5, because you're going to subtract the 24.5 from both sides. And then to get the 5 out of the denominator, so that's n divided by 5, and the inverse of division is multiplication. So then we're going to multiply by 5, and so n equals, I need a calculator because that's not going to be a fun number to do in my head, 75.5 times 5. 377.5, which is irrelevant because all you need to know is to remember to subtract first and then multiply. Don't divide. Look, they gave you all the dummy answers there. And by dummy answers, I mean the ones that we just, you know, that moment where you're like, oh man, I knew that. That's not what I would have done. Or, oh, I knew that. Why did I mark this? So they know your shortcomings or your distractions. And they're going to give you as many of those as answer choices if they happen to give you a multiple choice as possible. All right, so number 23. All right, it looks like a student has worked this problem. For some people, trying to find the incorrect step in someone else's work is really hard. And speaking as a teacher running around, and you know when you call your teacher over and ask her where your mistake is because you know you made one, sometimes it's harder to see your work. So for some of us, it would be easier just to write our equation and then work it. And then go compare your work to someone else's. So 3 times x. So we have 3x, 3 times 5, so plus 15, equals 2x plus 35. And remember, this is that great big brick wall, so it's going to stop us. And we have our great divide. We're going to try to get our x's on the same side. I, again, like to work towards the bigger x. I have three x's, so I have a positive. So I'm going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, and that leaves me with x plus 15. Oops, let's make it look like a 5 equals 35. I need x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides, and so x is going to equal 20. Now, let's see what they did. So 3x plus 15 equals 2x plus 35, so those steps matched. Then they have 5x, uh-oh, so they moved that 2x and added it. But because it crosses that equal marks, it can't be added. You have to do the inverse because it's crossing over to the other side of that great divide line, like I've said. So our biggest mistake happened in step two. So that's where our first mistake was. So step two would be where our first mistake is. And then most of these error analysis type questions, they are going to ask you to continue to solve and tell what the right answer is. And in this case, the right answer is 20 because we already solved it over the side. So again, that's why I say for some error analysis type questions, it's just easier to write the problem and rework it or work it out yourself and then compare between the two. So working backwards from our expressions and word problems for number 24, which sentence represents this equation? So two less than, so that means less than means it's going to be subtraction, but it's going to be on the, like the two is going to come after the subtraction sign. So that two less than means 
minus 2, then 4 times a number. So that 4 times, that's going to be multiplication. So 4x, a number is where your x comes from, is, remember we talked about that, is equal to, equal to, and then we have 12. So 4 times a number equals 12. 4 times 2 less than 4 times a number. So that would be your 4x minus 2 equals 12. So that is our answer. But hold on, let's look at the other ones just for practice because you never know. So 4 times 2 less than a number. So 4 times, that means 4 first. So 4, we're going to multiply 2 less than a number. So that 2 less comes from a number. So that means x minus 2 is 12. So 4 times, I'm not on the screen, sorry guys, 4 times x minus 2 equals 12 would be b. So this is what b would look like. c, 4 times a number is 2 less than 12. So 4 times a number is, so that's our equal to, 2 less, so we know that's minus 2, than 12. So c is 4 times a number is, which is equal to, is is or equal to always, 12. 2 less than 12. So 2 less than means that it comes after the minus. So D, 4 times a number less than 2 is 12x. So 4 times a number, then after it says less than 2, because remember that whatever comes in front of less than goes behind the other number, is 12. And so that's our D. Again, just practicing writing those expressions and equations from words. All right, guys, that's your entire study guide. Hope you're ready. Know you're going to kick butt. Hope you did lots of studying. As always, I'm here for help. Watch the videos. Rewatch the videos. Email me. Text me. Call me. Have a great day.